This program contains strong language and sexual references. This is Love at First Lie. Okay, so here's the thing. Doubt is everywhere in the group, and the imminent truth ceremony is giving them the willies. Sit down close to me because these people want to be seen that too. You gotta, you gotta come close to me. I can't be the one yeah, yeah. approaching you. You're my man. Please do it. Because they're gonna be questioning us. Yeah, yeah. Please. We have to do something. Like, obviously, questions are like yeah. a thing. You know what I'm saying? The fact that there are liars amongst the group is literally baffling me. It's literally spinning my head. Annabelle wants answers, and she has a plan. A game plan, which she wants everyone to play. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry. Hey guys, do you wanna do you wanna come sit with us? Sure. Yeah, whenever whenever you guys are ready, of course. Yeah. I don't, I'm not saying right we were now. Saying but... Maybe we can like play a game or something. Yeah, don't come, mean? Come just like, whatever you guys want. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's see what the fuck they want us for. Let's see. Obviously they want us for something. Okay guys, so we can really find out who the liars are. Let's play a little game. Split the couples up and then ask like detailed questions that only your partner should know. One couple whispers the answer and then the other one says it out loud and let's see if it's a match. Okay? Come on! <laughs> I feel like the genuine people, their A game is a lot more heightened now, and they're not just going to be sit sitting there all coy, wondering what's going on. I feel like they're going to be out for blood now, too. What is your apartment number or house number? Ooh. OK. Hang on. We'll... OK. Right, so... Where does Annabelle live? House number or apartment? 1301. Correct. Yes. My turn. Right. Where does Reese live, right? Yeah. 1809. Yeah, that's good. 1809. Good. Yes, Next. Do the number. Oh. Cool. Uh, it's just sucks because we live in an apartment complex, so it's 11. Mm -mm. We live on five. No, it's an apartment. It's an apartment complex, so. I know. I promise you. How are you going to tell me? I pay all the fucking bills. <laughs> I'm positive. Next. OK, guys, save it till you get home, wherever that is. Ryan and Carla, we know that they're genuine, so I hope that doesn't make other people think like they're like the liars, because yeah. we don't think that's the case at all. Agreed. The location of your first date, like what was it called? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. where did you have your first where date? Where did you have your first date? I can go. Okay, I'll... oh no, I was saying First that date, one. first date. Okay. Upper deck in London. Next, next, Yuri, and you guys say. Uh, German yeah, Christmas yeah. market in Birmingham. All right, let's go. So Yuri, I say, Yuri. yeah. Yeah, you say it out loud. It was the Christmas market in Birmingham. Is that correct? That was our first correct. date. All right, good. All right, I, I already know Brian's. Okay. Carla. First date, it was East Providence Bowling Alley. Yeah, Bowling Alley, Providence. Yeah. Cool. It would be probably in my house, too. Epping Forest. Okay. okay. So, your first so the first proper date, we went for a meal in Wildwood. No, that, that's a bit of a stretch. Okay, they only said Epping Forest. Epic fail. I don't know. It's getting a bit fishy in here. Oh, Alfie and Jake may have been caught hook, line, and stinker. <laughs> Sorry. Good job, guys. Jake and Alfie need to go home. Oh, stop it. We don't know about that. <laughs> that's what, how you feel. Even being this close to the truth ceremony, there's still a lot of inconsistencies to iron out. This is a great iron. I'm really glad that we managed to host a bit of an investigation in the house afterwards, and I'm feeling apprehensive. And hopefully, yeah. there will be uh, there will be liars. I want to win the money tonight. Good work, guys. But it's all in the hands of the gods now. Speaking of which, everything that happened today with God, like I, you guys don't just. Like, if you guys haven't experienced it, like, and if you guys got, get the opportunity, it's beautiful, and you just feel it through your body, through oh, your no, heart. Oh, yeah. no, That's beautiful. No, for real. I love that. I love that. Bless my soul, I can't resist. So Carla and Brian got their addresses wrong, and that really threw us off. Like, how do they live together, and they don't know their apartment number? Yeah. But I still love them right now. We trust you no matter what. Like, and I, I hope you guys feel the same way about us. It was just awkward because that little slip up. You said five and I said 11. I still get scared when the stakes are high.
Going you? into the ceremony, I am a little nervous because um, I had a little slip up. It was honestly my fault. They asked for the apartment number of what we live on, and I ended up using the street number that we live on instead of the apartment number that we lived on. I don't even know why you're so worried because we've been the realest couple to everybody. We're literally the only ones who have really like said what the hell we're thinking. I agree with you. I think you're 100% right. I love how you guys, like, you guys connect. My love for them won't change. Their vows were like genuine. Yeah. Brian was super emotional. He was um, real. It's tough when, like, at the end of the day, the truth comes out. Like, there's no denying that, you guys. I no, literally, at the end way. of the day, like, the truth is coming out. Oh, geez. I sense another Ockfest coming on, and it's coming real soon. Because the true ceremony is where our couples get to do some straight talking. We're just really not sure after today's it's, events, are we? I absolutely have no idea. If they can think straight, that is. I feel confused. I'm not going to lie to you. Whether Jake and Alfie are a fake couple, I don't know. After today's little game, I don't know. It's between them and Ceci. You know, babe, there can be more than one liar. I know. Yeah. We feel like this morning, Cece and Reese's plan was to try and get people to vote for Jake and Alfie. They've been doing a lot of like, oh, what, so what do you think? Let's go for this, let's do that. It's too and pointing fingers. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm definitely feeling nervous. At the end of the day, God opened my eyes about one of the couples. Yeah, we're gonna be here. Yes. To the very end. To the very end, guys, to the very end. Talking the talk, but will they be walking the walk? right out of the house.